It's three weeks and we'll be in England. But if England don't like me? It's too far to swim back now. So I make your journey all this way to England. I'm actually here to assess a potential husband. I'll make a decent home for children. I want to be a star. Go back to Africa! Why you never tell me how bad it was here? If I am to stay here, I'll need to find somewhere to worship. This place is kind of like a church to some of us. Ladies, you are three characters who um, leave their homeland, travel together, build a life together, and they've known each other all their lives. But you probably just met on the set. So how do you establish a kind of a bond? Yasmin, if you want to take that. Yeah, I grew up watching Saffron. So over here in England, there is um, there was a famous TV show called it's probably going to kill me for saying this, but it's called Tracy Beaker. It was just kind of like if you grew up in sort of like the 90s um, for like a good four years, it dominated our screens. And so years later to go into an audition and to cross over and to see her <laughs> and, and for the relationship to translate on screen, off screen, like she's my bestie for life now. She's well locked in. And so um, uh, our bond was in, our bond was so natural. Um, which made things really, really easy because when, unfortunately, I didn't have much scenes with you. And if we did have scenes, mm -hmm. um, it was kind of like a, a chorus, so there was loads of us. Um, mm -hmm. But it just allowed me to feel safer if I could see her in my eye line or if we had the same lunch at the same time. And it's just all, it's just, it's, you never really know how much um, a safe environment uh, can contain or can can enhance your performance, and so having people like Saffron on um, set um, and watching her and watching Michelle um, and how they manoeuvred, they are such fantastic professionals, um, and just excited to see the trajectory of their career because they're brilliant, and I love oh, so much. Man. Isn't that yeah. incredible? Do, do you want to respond to that, Saffron? Honestly, I just remember seeing um, Yasmin. It was my final round for Chantrell. And I remember seeing audition, uh, seeing Yasmin in the audition room, in the waiting room. And we clocked eyes and there was something about her where I was like, I'm going to go and chat to this girl. And so we <laughs> sat down next to each other and we just got into conversation. And like, it, it was just instant. And I've been in love with her ever since. And like, I remember meeting Rochelle and honestly, like, I was, these are like my sisters, like I love them so much. And we were so lucky cast okay. and crew to work with such big hearted people. Oh, isn't that great? What a terrific series too. I found it so, I, I just, all of a sudden I'd seen all the episodes. It just boom, boom, boom. <laughs> uh, and I think what I liked the most <clears throat> is despite all the hardships that these women had moving from Jamaica to England during a time of racism and, and classism and misogyny, um, you know, it's so positive and it's optimistic and they're they're never bowed by anything i mean you must be so proud to show that kind of fortitude in a character and actually does it rub off on you a little bit ah oh, does it rub off on you i think i've always been incredibly proud um and i just think that's just kind of uh thanks to my parents and how they've sort of raised me but i think it allowed me to understand that the promise comes from the lineage that I come from mm -hmm. and the soil that my my forefathers stepped on. And so this so this kind of feeling that I thought was innate actually is, is it runs deep. Um, I think that we, women back then went through a lot more and went through it for the first time. And so now we have the vernacular and the resources and Google and uh, uh, um, thinking tanks where people can come together and strategize. Um, they just had um, paper and pen and a community. And so <laughs> it's just, yeah, I, I, um, I love and honor the people, the women that came before me, for sure. Oh, that's, that's great. Anyway, ladies, I have to let you go. Thank you. Oh, and wish good luck. a few more. Thank you, Anne. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. You might find spirits inside. The birdie walks the line. Mama Gladys used to say that my British passport was a golden ticket. It's our mother country. You belong here as much as we do. Open the door.